So here's a switch, a switch that technically I created. I chose all the parts from the weight of the spring to the stem to the bottom and the top housings. And you can make one of your own as well. Would you like to follow along as I build this one? Here we go. Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission for Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're going to make our own switch. This is a switch that, I mean, I didn't design, but I picked the colors, the materials, the spring weight. It's pretty, pretty decent linear. Unfortunately, for right now, at least anyway, they're all uh, linear stems, but you get to pick of different materials. And I kind of like the ones I picked. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Wook Studios Mix and Match. Um, now, I don't know very much more than everybody else does, but I gotta say, having had the choice to just pick the different parts, it was a cool experience. And it really wasn't as expensive as one would imagine. Now, granted, I mean, they already have each of them separated, so you're buying you know, a pack of X number, but uh, these were sent over to me by Wook um, to take a look at and review, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So, I, I haven't come up with a name for these yet. I'm not very good at naming stuff, but maybe by the end I have something. Hmm. So, they come in parts, and here's the ones that I picked for bottom housing. I selected a, I think it was called lavender, it might be purple, but this is a hump, eh. I, don't, I know the different ways to pronounce it, but U-H-M-W-P-E material for the bottom housing. I selected a modified nylon for the top housing. For the stems, I selected U-P-E. And then for the springs, I selected a 53 gram triple stage spring I only have another triple stage but it is a, a bit heavier than this one so as you can see everything does come in these nice convenient packages you got enough springs probably guess there's a couple extra in there now I did not lubricate this one and though I know it could sound a little bit better and I probably should do it as I'm building them I just want to do them stock and I think they're gonna be decent enough got a board that I'm going to be testing them in but um this is a little bit of different of experience this is something that I think uh would satisfy the Franken switcher inside of all of us if we had especially a lot more choices a lot more colors and definitely some tactile stems and I would probably say at least one if not two clicky jacket stems um uh, there's people who love their click jackets or their click ease, so having some click jacket stems would be a nice thing. So we've got 35 per pack. I've got three packs um, of each, and we're going to go ahead and build these out, take a look at them when we have them all, do a little, a little testing of them, and then we'll do a sound test and see what they're, they're like. So let me go ahead and jump in and go ahead and get this uh, switch building started. Just the specs. Today we're taking a look at the Wook Mix and Match switch, which allows you to pick several different materials and colors for top housing, bottom housing, the stem, and as well as the spring, spring weights and the stages. These switch parts are manufactured by JWK and offer 
modified nylon, modifi modified palm, as well as UHM WPE materials. The switches that I built, which I am calling pastelitos, are linear stem made out of UPE with the modified nylon top, the UHM WPE bottom, and a 53 gram triple stage spring. So today we built our own switch. Um, these switches, because they have these light pastel colors and also they remind me of the buttermint candies that you used to find at all the restaurants back in the 70s and 80s. So I have named this switch Pastelito. Pastel because it's pastel and Ito because it's little, although pastelito would mean little pastry or pastry dessert. So I thought that pastelito would be a good name for the switch. Would love to hear your guys' feedback on this. And I'm curious if anybody else picked out the same materials and colors that I did. I will say I do find it a little odd that these switches come in weighing at about three tenths of a gram lower than the majority of other switches. Um, at 1.3 were the majority of switches that I had come in weighing at 1.6. This is made out of lighter material. That said, once the switch is assembled, though it does feel lighter, it sounds and feels nice, has absolutely no um, lubrication on it whatsoever, and there's only the slightest, slightest hint of spring ping, or I believe leaf ping, but it's almost inaudible. And I think that these are going to sound quite nice. I have loaded them up on one of my bass lines, the uh, AJAZZ AC067. I'm going to try them with the uh, keycaps that the bass line was done on. And I'm um, also going to be adding in some ASA, uh, some MT3, some OEM, and some XDA keycaps in the sound test so that I can mix it up and you guys can get an idea for what this sounds like. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with this sound test. Um, I, I had fun putting these together, but I also enjoy uh, making Franken switches. And I actually have a couple of sketches for switch designs that I have. Nothing that's going to change the world, mind you, but I think I'm going to enjoy them. And through that thought process, I think others would enjoy them as well, though I am very far away from getting that done. So don't expect any any bad mark switches, at least in the very near future. I have a lot of other things I got to get done. Anyway, I do hope um, that Wook gives me the chance to try out some of the other combinations. Honestly, I would love three packs of all the different materials in the spring weights so that I could do a set of superstar switches. Like what after mixing all of them, because I would, I would mix all of them back and forth, and I would find maybe the top three combinations uh, of switches. I, I really like this concept. I think that they should expand this and allow for bottom housings that include a tactile leaf, as well as some different tactile switches. Some, you know, heavy bump tactiles, some medium bump tactiles, some tactiles with a little pre-travel, and even a click jacket or two. I think that would open this up into a world where, I mean, people love customizing their keyboard. Of, cus of course, they're going to love customizing their switch. So I appreciate Wook giving me the opportunity to test these, and I do hope that I get to test some more of these. But anyway, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with some sound test. Um, first, a full sound test, and then a mix of sound test using these on the AC067 with different keycaps. Um, all of them using the same microphone with an 8-inch distance uh, from the keyboard with a plus 20 uh, dB um, boost to the microphone. I'm trying to keep it a little bit further away from the keyboard and try to always keep it at the same distance so that I can get uniformity across the sound uh, test. If you guys got any more feedback for this, I am still perfecting my switch testing format. So little by little, this will start uh, 
this will start materializing more and more as time passes by but hopefully uh, you guys get a good idea of what the switch is like like i said it's a it's it though it's a 58 gram i would almost i mean it's got to be because of the four stages if i had to guess i would guess more in the 45 to 50 gram range um but it's probably the four stage screen that said i mean it has a probably a pre-travel of 3.8 you got a bit of it sticking up above the top and you got a nice snappy bottom out and for those who like linears i think that you'd be happy with this one i don't think anyone would say oh, i'll take this out um feels similar to a gameron yellow though because of that long pull has more satisfying uh, bottom out i enjoyed the switch but do we need this much trash to make 105 switches seems a little much to me anyway i hope that you guys enjoy the sound test of my pastelito and as always if you guys have any thoughts comments feedback please feel free to throw them down below and i do my best to answer as many questions as possible until the next transmission do keep calm and keyboard on <laughs>